So we're here at the water cube with Dave. Can you please show us your badge and tell us what you're doing here? So my name is Dave Tickner. I work for WWF. I'm based in the UK, but I work globally on water issues, mm -hmm. um, working on river conservation, uh, but also working closely with governments on policy, water allocation policy, water management policy, and increasingly doing a lot of work with the private sector on water risks and mm -hmm. what that means for their business. Um, and how has this conference been looking? It's good. I like coming to Stockholm. This is my fifth or sixth or perhaps seventh time here. Okay. Um, it's, um, as to, it's a talking shop, but it's the best kind of talking shop. It has all the right people to talk to. Oh. And so it's a great place to come and learn and share. And this year, uh, I'm very privileged that we have asked me to be a rapporteur. So I've had to go to more sessions and sit and listen. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I like to think I've, I've learned a bit, which is good. What have you heard that you find most... Uh, exciting or fun? Well, I went to a, a really interesting session on Sunday, on the very first day actually, um, which was led by the World Bank and DFID and, and a few other organisations and they were talking about uh, the South Asia Water Initiative and some of the work that's been doing in the Ganges Basin in India, which is a place where I do some work. Mm -hmm. uh, and I found that very interesting, in particular the results from um, an assessment they've done about how to manage water coming off the Himalayas and in the Ganges to achieve multiple outcomes and what does that mean for infrastructure and ecosystems and some quite surprising and for me quite heartening outcomes from that which uh, I think are very good. Great, that sounds good. And uh, what do you see are the biggest problems in the sector in this Area. Ah, ooh, where to start? I mean, obviously, you know, everybody here is familiar with you know, the really big problems to do with drinking water and sanitation, mm -hmm. to do with managing water for food and for energy, and I hope everybody's uh, aware of the environmental problems. But and what's the, the difficulty in it? Why is the problem lasting? Well, firstly, water runs through so many other sectors. Mm -hmm. It runs through food, it runs through energy and health and education biodiversity and climate change and all these things so um, that makes it quite complex secondly the situation is different in different parts of the world so you know there are places like Canada or perhaps my country in the UK where water scarcity you know, perhaps it's a small issue but it's not as severe as it is in other parts of the world the Middle East or parts of India or China or wherever it may be um, so trying to find a global solution, which a lot of people like to try and find, they like to find sort of one neat solution that works everywhere, that's a bit of a challenge, yeah, I, uh, I think. And then thirdly, I guess there's an awareness issue, particularly among senior decision makers, politicians, who have many things to worry about. So making water relevant to people like that, I think, is a challenge for all of us who work in the water community. Yeah, I hope we achieve that. So do I. Yeah, thank you very much. You're very welcome, thank you.